when you guys are down 24-10, is that like nothing to you? Yeah, I think uh, goal of our offense, I think we feel like we can score pretty quick. So we have three quarters left in the game and we're down that much. I feel like our offense is pretty confident that we can, can score and come back. Were you guys surprised? Um, you know, for, you come to a BCS level school on the road, they score, you know, they come out, they're slinging the ball all over the place, which is not what your defense has seen them doing on film. They get a touchdown, and it's almost a tribute to you guys that they try to onside kick. Yeah, I think uh, I think they know that we can't score with our offense, and they've seen us in the past three games. Um, yeah, but I think we should give just a lot of credit to the special teams and defense, just how they perform when they try to stun us. And, you know, it's, it's not very often that a team can get a 94-yard kickoff return and get nothing out of it. Yeah. And, you know, that was a key part of the game, it seemed like, because you guys got stumped, and so the 30,000 or whatever people that were actually here, um, you know, kind of got a little bit fired up. And then there's that tip pass, the pick, you guys score two plays later, and the whole momentum swing, it seemed like. Yeah, it's uh, you never want to have first and goal and not be able to score. It's a big momentum change for them, and they did a good job at that. But uh, I think it just shows you like the resilience of our offense and, that, and then our, obviously our defense, too, having to go, get back on the field. So I think it just is it's a good lesson for our team to have a, something happen like that and not be able to score and show you that we're, our mind's still in it and we're not just going to panic when stuff does go bad. So you're within four at halftime, and you came out in the third quarter at a an appreciably crisper rate, it seemed like, that you were running plays. You guys were moving a lot faster. Was that on purpose? I think uh, we got first downs, which gave us a good rhythm. We had a, that's, I think that's the main key for our offense, and mainly any offense, is when you get first downs, guys start to start to click, and I think that's what we started to do with the ball, and I think guys found a rhythm of like the tempo that we were going. That was a long drive for you guys. It was like three minutes and 40 seconds. Probably the longest one of the year. <laughs> <laughs> They're usually pretty quick. So. Titans outscored opponents 73 to 13 in the third quarter this year. How much fun is this? It's a great, it's a great experience and feeling. It's uh, like I'm a senior this year, and I only get, I guess, nine more shots at this now. It's just unbelievable to see how far our teams come through five years I've been here and it's just not many people get the opportunity to come and play in front of 30,000 and travel and do what we do and I think we've made the best of it. Would it matter to you to see your team in the top 25? Uh, I think we're just going to keep playing no matter what. Yeah, it's a great accomplishment but at the same time there's teams that are in the top 25 and get booted out the next week so I think for us we're just going to focus on a week to week basis and then that can really put us in good positions um, do you get a sense when you get onto these, especially the last two weeks, these are BCS schools, um, when you get on the field that even though they've seen you on film and they know what you can do, that they still want to, like they still have to see it in person to believe it, that you guys are doing what you're doing and yeah. that you're as dangerous as you are? Definitely, definitely. I think uh, just from a talent standpoint, people probably think that we're a bigger school so they have better talent. And uh, it's kind of shocking how, how much talent we have on this team. And uh it's funny going in, we always feel like we're the underdog no matter what. And we might, the spread might be a certain amount, but we always feel like we're the, the smaller school coming to these big big opponents, and I think that gives us a good chip on our shoulder when we play because that's, it's just hard for small schools to get, get noticed like that. And I think that just shows us how, I don't know, prideful our team is, but it shows us that we just love to compete. Is that chip on your shoulder what drives you guys every week? Definitely, definitely. Uh, I think it's just uh, what Coach has instilled in us in this program, just expect to win. I think in the past we've not, not expected to win, but I think people were second-guessing what we were doing, and now it's we're pretty confident in our abilities and what we can do. How's it going to be when people start expecting you to win, people outside your locker room? Like, I don't know who you play next week, but if you're supposed to drill them because of you know they might be two and two or whatever, when you guys are supposed to start rolling people, is that harder to do when you don't have that Billy Martin underdog thing to kind of rely on? Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, it'll be, it'll be. I guess we'll just have to see. That's not a can of worms. I just opened up. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I think 
each week, it's uh, it's always a challenge, and that's what we we focus on. It's just the opponent for that week, so we're not gonna, um, I guess, say we're gonna blow out every team. I think each team has a chance to beat us, and that's how we're. I think we we go at it. We don't go at it. As, we're the underdogs, and um, we have to win. And we just go as it as this is the week that we're playing this team, and we gotta perform. What's the what's the limit for you guys? Sky, no. <laughs> uh, shoot, the limit for us is, is pretty high. I think, I believe, we have a lot of talent, and um, I'm just excited to see what our offense, defense, and special teams can do. Because, yeah, I've, I honestly believe we have tremendous talent and at every position, and it's fun to be around and be a part of such a great, great and close group. So your defense turns the ball over on people almost as well as anybody in the country. And you haven't thrown a pick yet. Do you throw any in practice? Yeah, I try to get them out during the week, so I'll throw a couple. <laughs> no, I try not to, but um, yeah, it's just it's a great great scheme that I think our defense runs and they stick to stick to their um, assignments. I, I think people go, Oh my gosh, you put up this many points and yards but I think the, throughout the game, they stick to what they do, and it, I think it pays off. And same with the offense. We just try not to force balls and try to just throw them. What was the first offensive play you guys ran last week at Illinois? Uh, we ran, like, a, a power set. That's what we usually been starting off with. Was today, the first play today, going for everything all, right off the bat? Is that just, a, like, a we're here play? Um, yeah, it's a, it's a, we just thought we had, like, a good, uh, good matchup. That's that's the main, the main thing with our offense is matchups, and we thought we could we could throw it long as a added choice. So I think our guys can win because I'm confident in them. Thanks for getting off the bus, man. Awesome, yeah, that's great.